everybody. Uh, this is Anna Wernemont and Amy Heigl joining you for our Monday feature. Uh, we're both at home. We're experts in social distancing by now. That's great. Um, so we are going to uh, do a little Lexio Divina today with you. Uh, maybe you're looking for new ways to pray from home. Uh, maybe you've done Lexio Divina before, but, but uh, it'll be great to do this together as a community. Um, I'm going to give you a second if you want to grab your Bible now and start to find the scripture while I talk for a second. Um, we'll go grab your Bible and we'll open up to Romans chapter 8, verses 8 through 11. That's Romans chapter 8, verses 8 through 11. Um, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through Lexio Divina a little bit. Uh, while you're opening that up. So Lectio Divina basically means divine reading. And it's a really special way to pray with scripture in the presence of God. It's a very intentional way to pray with scripture. And usually what, what you do is go through sort of a process. And at its, we're going to kind of do it in its simplest form today. So we'll start by reading the scripture in a very a uh, very slow and gentle and intentional way. Uh, this isn't a quick read through, a very intentional reading. And then after we read it through, we'll take some time to ponder. Um, we'll listen for those, that, those little words that God may be speaking to us. Um, listen for even just down to a one word or a very short phrase that, that seems to say, this is the phrase for you today that you needed to hear. So in, in step two, when we ponder, you take that, that phrase or that word and reflect on it and interact with it and let your memories or your thoughts of the day or the things that you're, you're worried about or the things that you're happy about, all of that, let them interact with that word or that, that phrase. Um, if you're doing this along with a friend like we are or with your spouse or your child, um, you might take an opportunity to share with them the word that stuck out with you. And then when you're done with that, uh, you'll kind of close up in prayer. So you'll kind of offer to God your praise and thanksgiving for this time with him and his word. And um, you might, you know, talk to him about what, what you're going to do about this word or what, what, what you prayed about. Um, I think we're ready to start. Do you have anything to add, Anna? I just wanted to be sure that everyone um, just knew that the reading that we're doing is from Sunday's gospel or Sunday's second reading. Yes, yes. So yes, this reading, Romans chapter 8, verses 8 through 11, was the second reading for the fifth Sunday in Lent, which was yesterday. So I am going to read. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit, if only the spirit of God is in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of God does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal body also through his spirit dwelling in you. I'll give you a moment to ponder that, and then we'll read it through one more time. All right, on this second reading, um, I'm going to read the same exact verses again. Um, whatever word or phrase initially stuck out to you, 
um, go deeper with it as we read through the rest of the reading again. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit, if only the spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit dwelling in you. Take one more moment to ponder that yourself and then we can do some sharing. All right. That was awesome. Thank you. Would you like to start us off? Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I would. Um, you know, the, the first time and the second time reading through that, the um, line that just says, but you are not in the flesh, just really just like stood out to me um, because. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> sometimes it's just really hard to like know like how to be um like what it looks like to you know strive for to be like Jesus but have such human limitations and so um I don't know I just loved that line like the striving of trying to just like let the spirit dwell in me um will help me mm -hmm try to not be of the flesh, but I just love that line. Um, yeah, that's, those are just the way it's phrased. The words that were chosen are so powerful and they stand mm -hmm. out. That's cool. Uh, for me, it was the phrase, the spirit is alive. Mm. Um, that was really powerful to me. Just a reminder that um, the Holy Spirit dwells in me it's you know it's something it's just a thought that sometimes you take for granted to realize his his presence in my soul and he's alive and he's active and he's doing his thing um he's giving me grace for the moment for the day for the week um he's alive that's awesome so good, Amy. Thanks for sharing. I love that. Yeah. Uh, good. So the next step of the process is to pray. So um, if you're doing this with a friend or if you're uh, doing the process alone, um, now is the time to just kind of offer up a prayer based on those words that stuck out to you. Um, because we're doing this in this video format, um, I'll just uh, offer up a prayer for all of us together. So let's pray in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here in our days. We praise you for all who uh, were able to join us and to pray together as a community during this difficult time. We thank you for your word and for enlightening us and speaking to us. Thank you for your presence always. Holy Spirit, you are alive in us. Help us to strive ever more to be united to you in our spirit, to turn away from the evil desires of our flesh and to be more united to you always. We lift up all the intentions and concerns of our heart. We hand them over to you, knowing that you can do all things. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, I think we should invite them to share in the comments if you have any, um, if you had any uh, cool thoughts in reading that scripture, feel free to share them in the comments. And then uh, for more featured videos like this, and as well as our um, live stream of our math and rosary and other things, uh, just remember to check out our spiritual release page on the website for the full schedule of all of these type of videos. Thank you so much. Have God bless day, you everybody. all. God bless you. <laughs>